Hello, I'm Aubrey Hammock. Welcome to Keeping in Touch. Today's program, our special guest is Emma Kelly uh, of Savannah, Georgia, and well, actually Georgia fame. And as you remember, um, she was featured in the uh, movie and uh, played herself in The Midnight in the Garden of Good and Evil, and also in the uh, book that was uh, pr uh, written by John Berendt. And the movie was produced, um, of course, by Clint Eastwood. And Emma, welcome to the program today. Well, I'm delighted to have you here. And hope I bring out some things that are meaningful to you. I guess for starters, uh, you've been playing the piano for a long time. Tell us uh, how long and how you got interested in playing to begin with. Oh, about 75 years. That's, that's a long time. So you started when you were a very small girl. About four and five. I started actually playing for little that features when I was about nine. Now, you're not a native of Savannah, is that right? My home is Statesboro. That's right up the road here. How, I know in the book, uh, in Midnight in the Garden of Good and Evil, uh, a, a chapter actually is dedicated to you the, called The Lady of 6,000 Songs. Tell us how you uh, come about getting that, uh, that name. Well, I was with um, Johnny the last, about the Sixteen years, and we were together a lot and did a lot of things together. And he, he said, "I just can't simper, but you can." But I do know a lot of songs, and so suddenly he was saying, "You know, Emma, there's a project I'd like to do." I said, "I'd like to see if we can't determine just about how, how many you know." He said, "Do you know?" I said, "Goodness, no, I have no idea." And he started calling them out. He got a lot of material, and he would call them out from books and books and books. And if I didn't know it, he would strike that, say, no, we can't use that one. And so we got to 6,000. And he'd just keep going back to some that he had selected. And so we'd go over just to have a uh, sufficiency there, and he, he had determined that, and I didn't learn until after his death. He, he died he, uh, soon after that, and he told me that he had missed the project that he had in mind, but he never did tell me what it was. But Sammy Kahn, who was another friend, told me later that he was trying to get me on the house of the, what is the book of Guinness? The, yeah. uh, and he said he has plenty of things there, but he didn't want to say anything to you and maybe uh, get you excited and then may, maybe not come to fruition. So uh, we, he, he didn't, that's what he was trying to tell me, but he didn't tell me. Now, Johnny Mercer, of course, has written some outstanding songs. Do you have any certain favorites uh, that he's written that oh, you love? Well, when he sang them, I, I, they were all favorites. But yes, I have some. I have some I can sing and some I can't. I mean, by that, they are very warm tunes that uh, I can't keep my face straight sometimes but since he's gone. Yeah, I know that uh, you know you're talking about singing some. Uh, we're going to go over in a little while to the piano, and you're going to have a chance to uh, sing and play for us. And I can't wait for that. Well, I'm not sure just how it'll be with my singing because I've been hospitalized for a while, and uh, sometimes I, I might try. Sometimes I can play for, I mean, sing for a little bit. But you call the songs, and we can do that, and I can give feel it out. Okay. I know uh, Emma has also been nominated to the Georgia Music Hall of Fame, um, which is coming up in uh, September, and I wanted to also mention that. Um, who are some of the other uh, early influences on your life outside of uh, Johnny Mercer? Well, Johnny, I guess, was the first one. My mother, I guess, would be the one because she was a music teacher and had me going out early. Now, you came from a large family, I understand. Yes, uh -huh. and. I have a long family, large family, too. How many brothers and sisters do you have? I have, uh, we had two marriages. My father and mother were married later when they had both been, uh, they lost their uh, families. And uh, he, uh, 
had two children, she had children, 70, so that gave us a, a lot of brothers and sisters. But I was the one that stuck with the music more. Emma, I know that, uh, you know, some sad news in the music world just a few days ago, Frank Sinatra's yeah. passing. Um, you know, did his music uh, impact you in your career? And if so, uh, what are some of the favorite songs of his that you liked? Well, one that he used to say he didn't like much, but The Wee Small Hours, something like that, the tender songs. Mm -hmm. I know so many of them, but when I start trying to think, if I don't really know what I'm about, they don't come to me as fast as they did before the illness. Clint Eastwood, uh, of course, produced the movie here, and uh, you uh, played yourself in that movie. What was it like working with Clint Eastwood? Well, it was just a dream. That was his seat, and that was mine. He'd come up every night he could get off. Sometimes he'd be uh, into the night before they could, but he liked me, but he would not play himself, and he was a good musician and, and singer, but he said, no, I just came to listen, and you're the one here. Any, any uh, regrets um, in, in, in looking back over your life? Um, I, I know that Johnny Mercer, I, I read, uh, was very, very responsible for encouraging you to get started oh, singing. Yeah. He even supplied all the equipment that just then I had not sung in my life, except in a a little bit, but he was determined because I knew so many songs more than I. The boys wasn't that great, I'm sure. But what uh, about what age did you actually start singing? Professionally, that is. Well, I guess when I first started with him, uh, about fifty. No, fifty-three. I remember now, fifty-three. Do you regret today that you didn't start your singing career well, earlier? Well, I don't. So much has happened to me that I never would have dreamed of until I don't wish anything changed except the early loss of my husband. Otherwise, I've had a charmed life and, and a nice family. I know that uh, the book, uh, I know that uh, some of the characters in the book, like Jim Williams, Joe Odom, Ben Tucker, Danny Hansford, uh, Lady Shibley, um you knew these people. Every one of them. Now you, in fact, we went on tours all over the country. Now, you played the Christmas party, I understand, uh, at Jim Williams' uh, house at the yeah, Mercer House. Yes. Mm -hmm. What was some of your memories of Jim Williams? Jim was a very tender, nice fella. I couldn't, you couldn't mourn anyone. If, for instance, I would play a uh, job for him, and Every time he would say, all right now, Emma, let's go to the office and see how much you owe me. <laughs> and uh, so we go in and uh, I'd give him a fee, and then he'd say, Emma, are you crazy? Don't you know you're worth it more than that? And he would just slap. He was very generous. Now, did you have the opportunity to meet uh, Danny Hansford? No. No. So, so you didn't meet him. He's one of the few I don't I don't know. Now, Joe Odom, you knew Joe. I knew him very well because I had this. Um, after John, uh, Johnny died, that was my second home here. He had a carriage house in the back, so I knew him very well. But not only that, I knew him from the time he was about 15 years old, because he lived in Claxton, Georgia, and my mm -hmm. home was uh, in Statesboro, and we both loved music and. Before he was old enough to go out, he would slip in and and listen to playing, and then I used to work with him with the chords and things. Now, were you in business with uh, with him also? We were in in business. Oh, he he got it all started, but then he dropped it, and then I was I was the one left with it, and um, I was not a businesswoman. I know, Emma, we're going to take a break right now, and when we come back, we're going to go over to the uh, piano, and we're going to listen to um, you play and sing for us, okay? All right. Well, first, I want to tell you that I, I've been working all my life, and I've been so in a lot of, about 39 states, my children counted, and then three countries, and three, uh, I'm, I'm on the, at the capital, I'm one of the entertainers. Now, I haven't performed yet because it's just been determined. I might never, but I was in, appreciated that. 
So I've just had so many things happen that I never would have dreamed in an area, a country area, really. And ten children, and they all are well educated. So, as I say, losing a husband at 70 was far too soon, but look what we had. We had the children all looked after, and, and so I, I have nothing to say I wish this hadn't happened because so many things could have been worse. Mm. We'll be right back. Emma's going to be playing some music for us in just a few minutes. Emma, I know um, we're in Hannah's, and you play here uh, several days a week. Tell us about that. I've been with um, Ben Tucker, a great, great bass player mm -hmm. for about eight years, and I've been, we've been here, I think, about four. So he's been very nice to work with, and well, we seem to get along playing together twice. That's fantastic. I know the song, the title, actually, of your uh, CD that you've got out is Rain Sometimes, and you're going to play uh, Rain Sometimes for us now. Can you do that? I think so. Uh, actually, this is try, um, I'm sorry. It's uh, the, for the ones that have them, and a lot of them do. It's, uh, what is that first one? Crimea River. But it's written by the same one that wrote that. But it doesn't matter that much, except people say, no, that isn't her first one. So go ahead. <laughs> okay, so we're going to do rain sometimes. You'll have rain sometime. You'll have money down the drain sometime. Reasons to complain. That's how it has to be. Now, but you'll have champagne sometime. Money down the drain sometime. You'll ride the gravy train sometime. Just you wait and see. You'll be stranded in the rain sometime. You'll dream your dreams in vain sometime. Lose more than you gain. But this I guarantee. for some time. Love is for all time. For all time for you and me. You believe that now? Emma, yeah, well, that is a beautiful, beautiful yeah. song. Played it many, for many occasions. I know Otis Redding had a, a song out that um, I think you've got it on your uh, disc too, your CD, Try a Little Tenderness. Oh, I've known that since the thirties. She may be weary. Women do get weary. Wearing the same shabby dress. And when she's weary, Try a little tenderness She may be waiting Just anticipating Things she may never possess It's all so easy Try a little tenderness It's not just sentimental she has your deeds and cares And a word that's soft and gentle Makes it easier to bear You won't regret it Women don't forget it Love is their whole happiness It's all so easy Just try a little tenderness
that's one of my, one of my favorite. We loved our little drama. We kissed in a field of wine. And stars fell on Alabama last night. She may be waiting, just anticipating things she may never possess. It's all so easy. Just try a little tenderness. It's not just sentimental. She has her griefs and care. And a word that's spoken gentle. Makes it easier to bear. You won't regret it. Women don't forget it. Love is their whole happiness. While she's without them, try a little tenderness. I want to try one little one of Johnny Mercer's that few people know. Pardon my southern accent. <laughs> Pardon my southern draw. It may sound funny, uh, but honey, I love y'all. If you don't like my accent, and if you don't like my draw, then just don't listen. Let's start kissing. Bet you'll fall. Come on now. Try to steal my stuff. If I ask you, do you love me? All you gotta say is show up Pardon my southern accent. Now did I hear you draw? Or were you sighing or replying? I love y'all. Emma, I know um, you do Georgia on my mind. All right. Great job. <laughs> The whole day through An old sweet song Keeps Georgia on my mind Georgia, Georgia A song of you Comes as sweet and clear As moonlight through the pine out to me other eyes smile tenderly still in peaceful dreams I see the road leads back to you Georgia no peace I find an old sweet song keeps Georgia on my A few weeks ago, well, actually, it's probably been a couple of months ago, and I came down and met you and invited you to uh, do this program. We tried to do it in Macon, and that didn't work out. But man, I think it's a lot more appropriate to do the program in Savannah anyway. But well, um, I'm at home on this too. But I got um, your disc at that time, and there was a song on that disc that I just thought was fabulous, and it was called "P.S. I Love You." That's another Johnny Mercer, and very often I would use that as the last one, and that's one that's hard to do, but I'll try. That one in, um, uh, I'll just play that one because I might be taking your time. Here I thought I'd drop a line. The weather's cool. The folks are fine. I'm in bed each night at nine. Yes, I love you. Yesterday we had some rain, but all in all, I can't. 
complain Was it dusty on the train? P.S. I love you Write to the Browns as soon as you're able They came around to call I burned a hole in the dining room table Now let me think I guess that's all Nothing else for me to say And so I'll close But by the way Everybody's thinking of you P.S. I love you Want a fast one? Yeah, let's hear a fast one. Some years ago, the Gershwin brothers had a song that uh, you played uh, when I was down here before, and I know you know the name of that song, Someone to Watch Over Me. Can you do the song, uh, What'll I Do? Oh, well, that's a beautiful one. What'll I do when you are far away And I am blue, what'll I do? What'll I do when I am wondering who kissing you what'll I do what'll I do with just a photograph to tell my troubles to when I'm alone with only dreams of you that won't come true that you do a lot of uh, traveling you have a real high obviously energy level how do you what do you attribute that to because you uh, stay on the road a good bit don't you loving what I do enjoying what I do and enjoying the people that I meet that's it that gets me through right now I'm my back but I make myself sit up I know that I know that um, we were told that you just recently got an award I think um, at Georgia, Georgia Southern. Southern. Mm -hmm. uh, tell us about that. Well, it was another one of those things that I never would have dreamed of. It was Emma Kelly Day, and then 
Emma Kelly and Emma and George Kelly. Uh, it was for um, an award for children going, college students going to school, helping, being helped to get good educations in music that might not have had that opportunity. So they set up a scholarship, I mm -hmm. suppose. Well, that's probably. that's fantastic. I know uh, our time is about up today, but um, you pick out a song to sing and play for us to close us to close your show out today, because this is your show. Well, I played one that I used to go out with the little one I just played, but I'd rather anyone out there. Moon River. Moon River. That's right. I had promised it. Johnny Mercer. Lake Georgia. Thank you very much uh, for agreeing for us. I know we had some problems initially trying to get this program together, but yeah, we've done it, yeah. and I really appreciate you and Melody, your assistant, helping us yeah. work out the details. Thank you very much, and I uh, hope we'll have other times. <laughs>